this video intended for educational purposes. Hey guys, it's Adam aka Swimming Bird, and welcome back for another Minecraft 1.8 snapshot. This is 14W26C, and this week we've got a grab bag of changes, including a weakness for the new Guardian mob, changes to baby horses, swamplands, furnaces, villagers, and just what the heck is going on with this sword in my head. But first, I wanted to show you guys the new debug world. Now, this is uh, mainly meant for testing out resource packs. You can see every block in the game and all the different states that the blocks can be in, and it's kind of hypnotizing here going around and seeing all this. So you could change a resource pack and just see what it all looks like in this world. It's, uh, it's pretty simple to make. You just hold shift when you click what world type you want, and you can choose the debug. It's a little crazy here. You want to be in spectator mode so that you don't crash the game because it's a little glitchy with all this stuff going on, but it's really cool to look at. And uh, this would be fun to play in survival, but if you break any block, it will regenerate. And if you try to place one, it will just disappear. It's mainly just for testing purposes. So let's get over to my main world and we'll check out the other new features. Welcome to my weird little village. This is all thanks to a new command introduced this week called Replace Item. It allows you to put stuff in the inventory and armor slots of players or mobs that can carry them. And as a side effect, villagers actually gained a head armor slot. So you can put stuff on their head, like a torch. This guy's got a fence gate. He looks like he's got horns. That's pretty cool. We've got some player heads around here as well. There's the magic man. There's Prismarine on this guy. It even like glows and changes colors. There's me. That's super creepy. And uh, Mushroom Head over here. The Anvil guy over here looks like he's got a mohawk. I really like the slime block head. You can see his eyes through it. Lots of cool stuff. So yeah, you can use the replace item command to put items in the inventory of different players and mobs. Like if I had this zombie over here, I could give him a fishing rod using replace item. And you can see how it works. You do replace item entity, and then you can select at P for yourself or a player. And then you can do different stuff, like you put it in the slept weapon slot here, and there's a fishing rod. And you can do cool things too with the inventory where I'm going to give myself some clownfish. This is very useful for servers where you could give people an equipped items and armor automatically for mini games save a lot of time there and effort and also if someone was like stealing something you could replace the items in their inventory easily now the witch is kind of cool because i can actually give her an item in her hands and uh, i think it just replaces the potion but she's still really ticked off her nose is sticking out does not work for every mob though i've got an enderman here i'm gonna try to put a sword on his head but it does not work so it's only mobs like zombies skeletons stuff like that that can hold items already or have the slots for them. You can also use this to put items in containers. So I'm going to take this gold out of here and it's empty now. But if I use this replace item and pop these gold blocks into that slot, once I jump on here, you'll see that they generated in there magically. So yeah, you could do a lot of cool stuff with this. Now, you saw that a few people, like this guy's got a pickaxe in his head. I think there's an axe, a golden axe headed guy around here somewhere. But unfortunately, you can only do blocks in the head armor slot right now. So the way that I achieved this, this was actually thought up by Super Mario Brothers World on Reddit. He had the idea to retexture rails, and uh, I've retextured a few different types of rails to look like axes, pickaxes, swords, and stuff. That's why you can see them laying down here. So that's how I did that trick. I'm hopeful that they'll add the ability to put items on people's heads in the future because that would be really cool as you can see i think a lot of this was added because of the the uh the changes to the terms of use they clarified all that that was a big controversy recently server owners were very upset that they can't sell items in game if they have an in-game effect trying to balance out pay to win servers and stuff like that and mojang's trying to avoid a bit of trouble with parents who are ticked off with their kids spending like money on stuff like that but uh this is one of the ways that Mojang specified that they could charge for aesthetic items like hats and stuff on players and they could use different blocks to do that. So that way servers can still make a bit of money to keep running, stuff like that. All right, so let's move on here. I wanted to show you guys the swamp biome actually got a cool change. This is something that was in the past they added this, but uh, it got taken out for whatever reason. The swamp biome used to have these really patchy parts of, of grass here where you can see the water makes it a lot more marshy and for whatever reason that was gone for a little while but uh, they added it back in so now the swamps look a lot more marshy oh I, I didn't want to forget though I wanted to show you guys if you want to do like a skull on someone's head this is how you would do it and you do a uh, player skull and just put the owner in there so if you want to pop my head on somebody and then this is how I put the uh, the sword on my head it's that retextured rail so yeah you can do cool stuff like that 
Now, there are a couple fixes that were interesting. The Guardians, the new mob, they were fireproof and lava proof for quite a while and uh, for when they were introduced, but now they've actually fixed that. They still survive on land, they'll just kind of flop around and make their noise, but they will burn up, so they're not immune to that. Hopefully that guy doesn't drop in. Be careful, buddy, there's lava right there. Okay, uh, so over here, I wanted to show you, we don't have any horses around here, but I'm gonna make some. So in the past, if you gave a baby horse a hay bale, it would help it grow up faster, but it was not equivalent to feeding it nine wheat. So it wasn't the same as crafting. You would just want to feed it the wheat and not the hay bale, but now it has been evened out. So now a hay bale actually makes them grow up quite a bit. You can click them a bunch of times. That'll make them grow all the way up very quickly. So that's a nice little fix there. Furnaces, this was a little bit of a change. In the past, you could hide a bunch of different items in furnaces. Uh, in, in the fuel slot, you could put a bunch of stuff, but now you can't actually hide your rotten flesh or your horse armor, hide your diamonds and upside down swords. You can't put anything in there unless it's an empty bucket or some type of uh, source of food. You could still hide it in here because that's how you discover what stuff you can actually cook. But yeah, furnaces are a little, uh, they're not as useful to hide your items if you don't think people would look in there. When you make a new custom world, you can now select if you want the new ocean monument in there or not and I believe how frequent it is and things like that, so that's pretty cool. Execute has a new ability to detect certain things, so this could be very useful for stuff. If you didn't want people to walk in your build or something, you could do a detect command with execute. This is actually gonna check if I'm standing on grass, and it will say you're standing on grass if I am. So if I walk over here, it spams that. So you could use this to just detect if someone's on a certain block that you've used and it will teleport them away. Stuff like that would be pretty cool. TNT minecarts in the past, you could not shoot them with a flame bow and have them blow up, but as you can see, you can very much do that now in the new snapshot. A lot of volume that was way too loud, even when you set the volume down, was uh, uh, obnoxious. I noticed the gas and the nethers used to be like that. Thunder had a problem with that, with being way too loud, even if weather was set low. That volume level has been fixed. The snow golems with their broken necks from the last snapshot, you probably noticed that in my last video, that has been fixed and the Guardians having a bunch of sound bugs and stuff like that. Now, over here, I've got the uh, the World Border command. There's a new ability now that you can easily adjust the World Border by a certain amount of blocks. So we see it's right here. I'm going to add a negative 10 to that, and then it will shrink 10 blocks. And then you can also do the same with positive, and it will grow that many. So that'll be very easy if you have a world where you want your border to slowly shrink by a certain amount of blocks. You could just set up one of those little comparator repeater things there and just have it constantly be subtracting or adding blocks to your world, which is pretty cool. The fill command, which would allow you to fill up, like if I wanted to make a huge area of cobble or get rid of one by replacing it with air, normally you can only do about 4,000 blocks 4,096, but that wasn't that many. They've actually expanded that to 32,768 blocks, so now you can like clear out a whole area very easily with commands. There's been a lot of different little fixes. With command blocks, you can actually now hit this little switch here, and it will get rid of the last one that ran. So if I uh, put that in there, it shows what the last output was. If I hit that, it'll just get rid of it for me there. And a bunch of different stuff, resource packs, and different block models and stuff have been expanded. And I have a really cool resource pack I want to show you guys. This was made by No Too Good, and it's called the 3D Swords Resource Pack. And because we can now do items with 3D models as well, I can actually have a 3D diamond sword here. You can see that's pretty cool. It's a, it's a little simple model that he made, but as you can see, all of the swords now have these 3D models. You can do some really cool stuff in vanilla without needing any mods or any you know, patchers and stuff to do this sort of thing. So it's really cool. So yeah, this week, just a lot of little different changes. I'm excited about some of the stuff that they're doing here. They're fixing a lot of bugs mainly because they did add so many features last week, but I'm excited to see what else we get in 1.8. We've got a couple months left. We still need to see those bunny rabbits. Those are coming in the future and we'll figure out what those guys are gonna do. Thank you for watching once again, as always. And please leave a like if you enjoyed this. Maybe subscribe if you haven't. I will see you guys next time for more snapshot updates. Goodbye.